It is natural to feel pressured by many people to seek their opinions about subjects and sometimes about you. Sometimes it is best to just let them be. Opinions are simply what they are. Opinions. There is really no reason why someone else's opinion about you should matter to you. The person probably doesn't know you, understand or know all you have been through. In this video, I'm going to share with you 13 things you should never apologize for. 1. Your skin color. If you're albino or tanned, don't allow people to walk over you. You're human, just like all of us. Don't avoid people or let people staring at you disturb you. Of course, staring at people is rude, and they are the ones being rude, not you. You have done absolutely nothing wrong. Don't feel some opportunities are beyond your reach. If you dream of it, you could do it. Don't stay away from social gatherings, parties, networking events. Clean up yourself, look good and enjoy yourself. Life is really about you and the people that love you. The people who don't like you really don't exist in your reality if you can adequately shut them out. You are beautiful. You are confident. You are doubtless. You can accomplish everything you set your eyes on. Give yourself a chance. Thrive. You belong to no one. Nobody's negative opinion can hold you back from what you're destined for. 2. Being yourself. Confidence only really comes when you are yourself. If you cram a lot of stuff for a presentation, the likelihood is that you will stutter, embarrass yourself, and hate speaking in public. You may already have this experience. What if you just understood the concept? What if you used an example that was very relatable to you and your audience to explain different things? What if you made a joke about some of it to ease the tension and make it less boring? Would it have made a difference? It most likely will. When you're always yourself, a lot of people will flock around you. Never apologize for being yourself. This, of course, doesn't mean you should be rude to anyone or anything. But if you always take walks in the evening and a friend checks on you and doesn't see you, when you return, if informed someone checked on you, you can call him up. But if no one told you, your friend doesn't have the right to yell at you for not being at home. If you like writing, don't try to copy other people's writing styles. Write yours till people get used to it. The famous writers were once like you. No one has to like you while you're at it. 3. Your moral standards. Some people don't drink, ever. They are not nerds or anything. They have religious beliefs that prevent them from doing so. If you're one of such people, well done. It really isn't easy to not drink with friends, religion or not. Beyond drinking, some have moral standards that make them avoid premarital sex, pornography, smoking, drugs and attending gatherings where people drink, get drunk and do illicit things. If you're one of such persons, do not apologize to anyone for your standards. It is yours. Others have things they don't do too. You don't go asking them to do it. People who can't respect your standards and leave you out of what they are on about don't deserve your time. Leave them be. 4. Loving someone and not loving someone You should generally not apologize for either loving someone or not loving someone. People can love you without you loving them back. Love is a tricky thing. In the same way, you can love people who don't love you back. There's no hard feeling, it's just how life happens. It's not something to be apologetic about. You didn't do anything wrong. You saw her and you fell in love with her. You telling her how you feel is not your fault. You just want to know if the two of you can connect. If she feels the same way, good for you. If not, take a seat on the train of unrequited love. Thankfully, it doesn't last forever. 5. Saying you can't do something You really don't owe anyone anything. You can't spend all your time doing people favors. If you can't at the moment, say so. You don't even owe them an explanation as to why you can't. In the end, your time management is dependent on how you allocate your time and how productive you are with it. Helping people is actually very great and can improve happiness. But if you're caught up with work, say no or later if you can make time later. 6. Pursuing your passion When you come up with your business model different from what all your peers are doing, they can try to make you see why it is a bad idea. You should unapologetically carry on, especially if you are sure of what you're doing. Most great models are perfected through trial and error. Who really has all the answers? If the current business models were perfect, their profits should remain a constant year in, year out. But that doesn't always happen. 7. Leaving a toxic relationship Relationships are supposed to be beneficial to the parties involved. If for any reason, a relationship no longer provides you any benefit whatsoever and makes you very unhappy, you can walk away. Value your peace more than the relationship. Remember that time lost is never regained. 
don't spend time trying to fix what has become fragments of disputes, hate, and name calling. That type of relationship can drain you emotionally. You will not give in your best at work, and your relationship with your family can suffer. The only person who has responsibility for your happiness is you. Take responsibility. Don't apologize for living. You're doing yourself a favor you probably should have done. 8. Not having everything figured out. No one has it all figured out. We make strides every day. We meet milestones, we celebrate, and we keep going. Where we can arrive is so far into the future, we cannot imagine what it would look like. In your work, your life, and relationship, you may not have it all figured out yet. It is something you should not apologize for. Take each day as it comes and work on improving every time. Growth is not a process that can be rushed. 9. Standing out. When you work really hard, the chances are that you will stand out among your peers. You have something beautiful that you can leverage for growth. Reputation. Don't apologize for working while your friends are playing video games. Your destinies are different. Don't be pressured into hanging out if you really can't at the moment. If you don't get promoted, you only will feel bad. Why not put your priorities in order and push forward? 10. Someone else's fault. Don't apologize for someone else's wrongs. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. No law in the world says Mr. Tom will pay for the crimes of Mr. Joseph. Even if they were identical twins, learn to let others take responsibility for their actions. If you don't do this for your friends, they will not grow. Part of a man or woman's growth process is accepting responsibility for their actions. If you wronged someone, make up for it. Don't ask a friend to help you do it. It is never the same. Friends who can own up to their wrongs and apologize are probably not friends you should hang out with in the first place. 11. Not knowing all the answers. No one, apart from God, knows all the answers. Where will you be tomorrow? You probably can guess, but can never be 100% sure. When asked a mind-boggling question, if you don't know, don't feel sorry for not knowing. The person asking is probably searching for answers too. This is very important for people living in one capacity or the other. Don't be afraid to tell the people that you don't know what the situation is yet, but that you are working to understand the problem. 12. Helping others. Never apologize for helping another person. It can take your time. But if it didn't, who knows how the other may have fared. Make friends with people who share your values, so you don't have a misunderstanding with friends who think helping others is a complete waste of time. 13. Taking a break. When you work very hard, take a break. You shouldn't apologize for taking a break. Your health depends on it. Getting fired is really nothing compared to the cost of hospital bills to fix brain damage.